we are back okay so we're headed to do a podcast big bank and baby j podcast dj screen dj screen big facts big facts yeah that part so let's catch up robert what's been going on because we i know we're supposed to do these a little more often but the way things been going we can't seem to make a shake but we're going to give y'all what we could give y'all what we could give it to y'all. See what I'm saying? But, oh, that's my cousin calling me back. Um, yeah. Got anything you want to say, buddy? Get yeah. on my damn nerve. No, you getting on my damn nerve. Don't start. That we not going to jump right into that part. He's so annoying, yo. He's so, he's so nonchalant about everything. Like, he... He just, it's, 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 it's good and bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, oof. That's the one thing that drives me crazy about him. He's very nonchalant. And he just, you know, just, just, it's about everything. And it's so freaking annoying to me. You worry about stuff that don't need to be worried about. It's stuff that needs to be worried about. Trust me, if I'm worrying about it, it's something that needs to be worried about. Okay. You don't think you worry about stuff that don't need to be worried about? I don't think I, I think I worry about stuff a lot, but I don't think I worry about stuff that don't need to be worried about. I guess we can call this episode of our vlogging uh, Car Chronicles because we're chronicling. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're speaking on things, you know, topics that matter in a relationship. So we are literally 16 days away from our wedding. And this man is driving me insane. You know? He really is because he's just so nonchalant. And it's like so annoying. It's annoying as shit. I love him. And, you know, better get on my last. Last. Look nice. That you support black brands. I'm not saying anything wrong with the brand. Or the I'm just saying this is giving my bread money. over bed. Bread over what? Bed. Like I don't sleep a lot. Cause you out there hustling. You don't sleep a lot, so you gotta. Oh, okay. I thought it was saying bread over head. Oh, it's bread too. Over. Yeah. Oh, it's bread over head. Over head. Get the bread first. Oh, so it's for me to get that bread, get that head, and leave. And leave. That's just ratchet. And leave. Yeah, it's ratchet, but that's true. That's ratchet. Yeah. I'm ratchet, though. You married a. I'm clatchet. I ain't no really so ratchet. Thing. I'm classy chit ratchet. What if that is a thing? You know, I like it's a little not. ratchet, but I'm a classy girl first. And then the ratchet follows immediately after. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so guys. Yeah, so anyway, don't ever forget that. It's classy all the time. But in ratchet follows immediately after. When they look like kicking. What make ratchet? So liquor make ratchet. <laughs> To make ratchet so I can come out. Yeah, I love her though. Like I, she's never going nowhere. You got a problem with her? Depends. You got a problem with my turn up girl? It depends. I don't never go too far. Depends. But I ain't go too far in years. Stop it. I ain't been doing nothing. No, you good. I've been. I don't even go out, so she don't even. You barely even. She barely make an appearance these days. Oh, but she coming out in Cabo, so you better get ready for. Her. And then she might be 2.0 version, so I don't know. You are gonna be like, what the hell? Cause you, you just talk too much. You just too loud. 
I'm too loud when I'm Then New Orleans come out. So what? You always say you got a problem, you like you got a problem with New right Orleans. Now. You hollering right now. Why you hollering? Because right don't play with don't play with my city. I'm just saying, you just start hollering for no reason. I holler when you make me upset. I'm talking about when you drunk and you out. I'll be I'll be too loud. I do be a little yeah, you're you be aggressive. I'll be wanting to fight. But, but you be around. I'll be wanting to fight people. You'll be you be around like family and friends though. So I mean, at this point, but I'm not is. aggressive to where I want to fight people and stuff. Not that kind of aggressive, right? Nah, I don't want to fight. Don't do that. I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Yeah, but it depends on if I have Hennessy, then I might want to fight somebody. Anyways. Drink Grand Corbino tequila. That's Kevin Point drink. Drink. What I like. I'm a tequila drink. I drink Grand but Corbino. He don't even drink. Like that's why I'm like, boy, what is that water? Like, you don't even drink. When you had whatever you just said, when you had that. Grand Camino? Yeah. That's what I, that's my drink. That's what I drink. So why you never drunk it with me? Don't get swiped. Why you never had a shot of that with me then? We actually took a shot together. Boy, we didn't take no shot of that. No, we, we took a shot of We didn't, we, I don't even know When's the last time we took a shot? You don't drink, so how can we take a shot? On your birthday? That was the last time I had a drink with you on your birthday, you forgot. You don't drink only on your birthday? Do not drink. I be drinking by myself. You gonna take a shower with me this weekend? What's this weekend? I it's my bachelor party this weekend. We're going out of town. Oh, you when you leaving? See, when when, when you was gonna tell me that? I told you. I just didn't know Friday or Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on them to tell me. It's like they not. You did. You me keep canceling this bachelor this bachelor party. We did the revolt. His bachelor party was supposed to be last week. He canceled it because we had to revolt and wait no more thing. So he canceled it. So now I guess it's this weekend. Where is that? Because I'm coming. Well, Where no. is it? Don't worry I'm about it. I'm crashing. Mocha Latte is coming. Need some strippers. I got you covered now. Nah, <laughs> I got. I, I'll pop out the cake. I'm going to pop out that cake like mocha's here. And what you going to do if that happens? If you pop out the cake? Yeah. You going to be mad? Hell yeah. Why would you be mad? Why would you pop out the cake? Because I want to surprise you. Well, won't you surprise me at home? Why are you popping I out I want to pop out the cake. I want to surprise you at home and in public. You don't know how to dance, though. No, you ain't got no rhythm. Don't don't try. Don't try me. Me and Raina dances in the family. Boy, whatever. You ain't no rhythm either. So stop it. Anyways. Okay, so this weekend I think I'm going to the concert. Since he's leaving. Monica, Seven Campbell. I thought we was going on a date today. But I guess you Stop leave. Lying. You Boy, I told so, no, I did yes, not. It was did. me, you, Danielle, and Dewan. It was four of us. So stop. Like we were doing a double date, and you talking about you going out of town. I know. So you don't want me to? I, I cancel the bachelor party. You Thank want me to have the bachelor party? Cancel it. I'm Dang. just playing. I'm just kidding because I had like 20 parties. That's I'm lying. No, I, I'll make it a girls' night. It ain't a thing. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. Have fun, but not too much fun. What are we going to be talking about on this podcast? Big facts. So they want facts. Big facts. Wedding. Wait no more. Oh, and y'all, like, yes. I want to start, like, doing little stuff like this, like, vlog and stuff more. Like, what do you want to see from us? Like, what type of, what type of stuff you want to see? Let's do more on our YouTube channel. We got to get back. Red, are you excited? We we have 16 more days until I officially become your wife. How do you feel about that, sir? <clears throat> do I need to zoom in? I mean, 
excited. Very much excited. Can't wait. What are you most excited about? Honestly, I feel you my wife now. Like, I really think you're my wife now, but I guess the whole thing, the, um, the union, the coming together, being one. Mm -hmm. yeah, we all that good stuff. And that's the way it is. Ooh, what you excited say, about? I'm most excited about, like, yeah, making things official because we, right so now we're living official. under. No, it is a sin what we're doing now. We have a kid and we're uh, <laughs> shacking up. So uh, we're gonna, like, it's gonna be real. We're gonna be husband and wife living together with our family. Um, yeah, and just like, celebrating our union with our family and friends and you know our honeymoon I'm looking forward to the time alone and because we need it it's been a while since we you know did anything because we have a lot going on but like you know vacation wise alone we, I know people like y'all take vacation all the time but I'm saying alone just the two of us so I'm looking forward today and I'm just looking forward to being Mrs. Russian and you know many many years of love and happiness and I know I'm gonna be the first to say marriage is not easy it's hard but when you find that person that's worth doing it to doing it with doing forever with do it live your life enjoy like each other and the process and compromise and you gonna bump heads and you gonna get into it and because we don't have no perfect shit over here and nothing perfect over here. Nothing. Nothing. But it ain't perfect, but it's worth it. And yeah, that's my person, that's my guy. So ready to do this forever thing with him. <laughs> that's my dog. So yeah. It's been so weird, like the planning of the wedding and everything. It's like we're like 16 days away. We literally get calls every day asking people can they come to the wedding. I personally think that's ghetto. Yeah, this is this is real. We speak in real truth because I feel like a wedding is something that you can't invite everybody to. You know, it's. It's not something that you can invite. If I could, I would, but it's not something you can invite everybody to. So you have to literally make a list of people and invite people. It's not that you don't want those people around, but it's like it's not room for everybody. And like random people that you don't even talk to, like that you hadn't talked to for years. I'm gonna come to you guys wedding. Can you send me the information? Excuse me, you don't even know my husband to be. You don't even you haven't been around us, you don't even know us like that. So it's kind of weird to me, but yeah, that's what's been going on. But Red, you think that's normal? I, I never Not really dove sure. into it. That, I'm saying. that is an issue. That's not how that goes. You know, weddings is expensive. You have to pay per person. You have to have everything in order for your guests. You have to host people. Like, you can't just... It, might as well open it up to the public if you think that. Go like that. Think they go like that? I ain't say no. Yeah. Anyway, they don't go like that. The only thing I really want, babe, is for you to learn how to cook. Learn how to what? Cook. <laughs> I am. Because I feel like we could take cooking lessons together, but it's like when you home with the kids and we inside, you should know how to cook something. Like something, you don't want to learn how to cook nothing. See, that's not fair. Why? Why do I need to learn how to cook? Now? Because just learn, like just to know how to cook something. Something real quick.
like it either. I hate it actually. But, you know. Like if but it's I, something we're doing together. Uh, yeah, like we could do it together. We can cook a meal together. But I'm not going to be cooking. Like no, I'm not saying you're going to be cooking like that. I don't want you to cook like that. I want you to know how to cook something if you need to feed yourself and the kids and it's snowing outside you can't get Uber Eats or something. Oh, we got enough shit in there to put something together. Yeah, so that's all I'm saying. If I'm not home and it happened to be a snowstorm and, you know, people don't know how to drive in snow in Georgia, you got to whip a little one, two, or what you want to do, peanut butter and jelly. Where the hell are you going to be at if it's a snowstorm? I might have had to go somewhere for work and got stuck because it was not anything. Go to my mama. See what I'm saying? Go to my mama's. Oh, and your mama gonna cook all day for y'all. Cause she spoils them kids and this, this man. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting ready to go to Big Facts, do this interview. And then we're going to look at another house. Yeah, so that's the deal. That's the deal. My child's how much she wanna move. I'm like, don't move. Right now, baby, everybody moving to Georgia. It is limited on inventory for houses. You ain't gonna have nowhere to go. Don't do it. Stay, stay put. She probably can find us, huh? Uh -huh. She probably can find us, huh? No, I was. She was, we was looking for stuff. It's, it's oh. really not a lot of inventory. I was thinking because she don't have that that much room and family and all that stuff. So she probably oh, yeah. could have found us. Might be right. It's, it's, and then something for her, like I think she, they are like like new construction. Oh yeah. Like something yeah. that's finished or finishing See, up. See, I'm kind of torn with new construction because they don't be building like these old houses. It's built, they built to last. This new stuff is like it ain't as sturdy as the old houses. I rather remodel. Maybe not. It depends. Maybe they really not. You can find some good buildings. I'm telling you, these builders is not building like they used to build. Them houses was built right back in the days. I'll take one of them in. Uh, so you don't think no builders nowadays? John Whelan. John Whelan is a real, I really love John Whelan properties. He put a lot of detailing into his properties and they're really nice. But like, I haven't really met. You ain't met John, eh? I ain't met John, but I'm saying <laughs> not met, <laughs> haven't seen. <laughs> Talk about that. You ain't met John. You I don't know John no damn Will. John. I had a John Willing property before. But you don't know no damn John. In my mind, not that. Like, I think I don't know. Anyway, but I haven't seen, correct myself, I haven't seen anything that can compare to John's properties these days. It's not worth shit. But anyway, that's needed. Yeah, makeup I care around the beat today. Red hate when I want makeup, but I have some stuff to do after, so I need a little. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial. That's what I'm gonna do. Show y'all how to do my own makeup. I'm gonna learn, and y'all watch me learn. Yeah, be cool. Anyway, I guess we'll be back. You got anything you wanna say? Ooh, babe, we gotta do that. All right, y'all. Peace. We'll check in when we get to Big Bank. Baby J and DJ Scream. Big facts. Period. Okay. We are here. We are here. We're getting ready to do the podcast. Man. 
We made it. Big. In the building. Big thing. Nah, for real. We rushing down the aisle. I'm going to. We rushing down the aisle. Show this. Let's Like 20 more. Babe, you ready to go back? You ready to go back down now? You know we just walked to the courthouse and got down. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to do it right, baby. Shit, y'all was smart as hell. Yeah. This shit is to just get it all the way ready. on a whole nother level now. Like, weddings is just on a whole nother level. The flowers be the expensive the, Oh, the flowers, don't talk. Like, oh, I almost got it's divorced a, before I got married. Fucking with flowers. The that nigga saw that shit. No, nigga, they sent us an invoice See, out this of this on, world. We did this shit on YouTube. We did this shit on YouTube. But motherfuckers might just think it's a joke, but this shit real life. Nigga. Oh, you saying y'all talked about that? The yeah. flowers and shit? Nigga, I came they, home and she hit me with an invoice. No, and guess how much it was? 162. I already know. 162. I still fuck them flowers and fuck you. Nigga, we can't even bring that shit home. Nigga, we can't even bring that shit home. It's ridiculous. Like, we didn't go with them because that was like ridiculous, but it's still high. But it's just like what you don't understand is flowers are scarce and they have a. Like, nigga, we outside. We got this dope ass scenery. We ain't got to do that shit. I said, yes, we do. He was like, no, we don't. Look at this ambiance. You think we need that? <laughs> they got a I said, no. nigga, you crazy. Yes, we do. You, you got to have it. Yes, we do. We, yes, we, do. we do. We do. We do. We don't need 160000 Oh, no, no, no. I don't need that. You I told him. Flowers, flowers. flowers. You got to have real flowers. Real. real. Okay. They gotta be real. That fake don't look stupid. Yeah, that fake ain't. For the critics, at the end of the day. Man. For the critics, you gonna do it, you gotta do it, right? That shit dumb as fuck. I'm still getting cussed out behind them. Are you doing the right? We did all that shit, bang. I didn't get to play the food. Because my dress See what I mean? 300 people, I didn't get a wing. Well, I better get a meal. I didn't get shit. Hello, y'all. Scorpio, honey. 2 p.m. November. November. I'm a Scorpio. Yeah. No, my birthday October right. 26. Right after. Oh, the oh October. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know Libra season on the 16th. Yeah, right? Libra's. Ooh. Don't do that. What's, what's, what's your problem? What's up, sis? Y'all. What's up with us? Sis, y'all just be like them. Bang. That's crazy. Y'all but we balance joke. everybody else out. So if you yeah. like this, we like this with you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's what you're saying. Tomorrow. And that's how y'all so be. Sure. See, we but they gotta come back. But the lead ain't come here. They say I set you a red wedding and a birthday in the same month. Shit, we just how we celebrating. No, we not doing two for all together. No, it can't be no two for ones. I need my own birthday thing. No, that's on the same day. No, we not. I need my own birthday. I wasn't born on October 15th. I was born on October 26th, so I need both. Yeah, but that's still, you can't do what we gotta do, but I need my birthday separate from this. But Italy, that's my birthday. What's up? Yeah. Hey, Nene. Hi, Mommy. What you doing? Just finished interviewing. What are you doing? We just left from doing big fags, girl. Now we I'm are pretty busy, busy. riding through this neighborhood. Is this the one? Yeah, I'm so over it. I thought the other one was the one, but it's it's nice. Thank you. It's giving. Okay. My baby gonna be on a cipher, so make sure y'all check her out on BT Awards on a cipher. Yeah. Yes, y'all. Check me out. Check me out. <laughs> That's lit, Nay. Young Nay Nay. Mm -hmm. I can't wait until the tomorrow. He's gonna be like, oh, no, no, I got the bars. He's gonna be saying, bars. Bars. Okay, y'all. <laughs> wait, it's, the, it's them people for real. Uh, well, honey bunches. Call me later. We about to go look at this house, and we will call you later. Nay, you coming to my house to help me out? Yeah, just let me know. Here, I'll get it. Okay, love you. I love you. Bye bye. Yeah, y'all. So the interview went really good. We touched on a lot of good stuff, so y'all look out for that. I ain't want to stay on and spoil it for them because it's on Revolt TV but 
That was a dope interview. I enjoyed it, baby. What you think? I mean, we dope, so. That's right. We motherfucking dope, like, say. That was definitely a dope interview. Shout out to Bay. Screen mm -hmm. J. Yeah, that's a they, big facts. Big facts. So, if y'all haven't seen Big Facts, make sure y'all check that out because that shit be real. Real life. Real life stuff going on over there. But anyway, y'all, we about to finish our day. You wanna go run? When we done with this? Cause I need to run. At least about three miles. So we're gonna do this, then we're gonna go run. And then um Yeah, that's about it. Well, I just be everywhere with this show. I'm horrible. I'm trying to catch trying to get it together. But um go ahead, it's them for real. Alright. Peace. So yeah, it's been a long day. So we're done. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my video. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Bye guys.